Okay, what I'm showing here is I've cut a slot in this capacitor and you can see quite a bit of oil inside this thing. Now this oil is used to cool the capacitor down. It's an oil that was used in these capacitors after PCBs were banned. PCBs were banned in the middle to late 70s because of the hazards of the uh, oil. Uh, this one has a replacement oil in it. Now you can see there's quite a bit of oil in there uh, that I've dumped out into that little lid. Uh, and if you see one of these where the oil is coming out of it, where there's a hole in the capacitor, you need to replace the capacitor because it's, it's not going to cool properly. It actually sits in a bath of this oil. And uh, so that's, that's what the PCB, or <laughs> keep saying PCB, that's what the oil in these capacitors is. Most of these are metal cased. There are some plastic cased ones and they use like an epoxy to transfer the heat. Uh, but these use oil. And I think the newer ones uh, pretty much do the same thing. I don't think they use very much oil. This thing's got a lot of it in it. Anyway, that is the, uh, the oil that's used in a capacitor. And uh, some of these oils are flammable. The reason they used, originally used PCBs was because the oil uh, PCB oil did not combine with anything, it didn't burn, it, you know, it was wonderful stuff, uh, but those same things made it bad stuff. It's, uh, it's caused birth defects and the like. Okay, as, an, uh, as a demonstration of these newer oils, uh, newer, <laughs> meaning it was put in 35 years ago, something like that, uh, these oils, some of them are flammable. Now the old PCB oils were non-flammable, uh, but you know, there are obvious hazards with them. Uh, so, will this newer oil burn? Yep. Okay, it actually burns quite well. Uh, you can almost use that for fuel oil. Uh, So, uh, why did they put flammable oil in these uh, capacitors? Well, when they were not able to use the PCBs anymore, uh, they didn't find any really good oils for them. And so, they ended up using these things that were flammable, and they said, would say on the side of the capacitor that combustible oils. So, uh, could one of these things, uh, you know, kind of kaboom or catch something on fire? Uh, you know, I haven't seen one do it. Sure looks like it might though, doesn't it? Okay. Okay, when looking at these two caps, this one here is a double cap. There's a, oh, I don't know what it is. 6 microfarad and 45 microfarad. This one's a single cap. This is a much older cap. This one is 35 microfarads. This one's actually got a lot more strength than this one does. Uh, what kind of happened, we're talking about the oil in these things. When they took the PCBs out, they made the caps bigger for a while. And uh, that was conceivably they wouldn't overheat quite so much if they're bigger. Uh, they're back smaller again now. Uh, Okay, to give you an idea here, uh, these two caps, this one's 5 microfarad and this one's 7.5. So the newer ones, they got smaller again. So they figured out a way to make these things smaller again. You know, we went up to this great big old thing here. Now we're shrinking down again. So, uh, I've dumped a little bit of oil out of this cap here. And it's a way different oil. It's real thick. The other stuff was thin like motor oil or something. And let's kind of take a look at this stuff. You can see it kind of 
kind of thick. I'm going to soak up a uh, piece of towel with this oil. Let's see if it burns. With the newer oil that's in the capacitors. Eh, you know, I really can't say that stuff burns. It's burning the paper. Yeah, it's burning a little bit. Uh, it's not real flammable. You can see the paper here is burning really well. And the rest of it is burning, but it isn't burning all that much. So the newer oils have less flammability than the older oils. And that's fairly obvious, by the way. That's, uh, that's performing there. Anyway, uh, that's the oil that's inside of the run cap. Start caps don't have this, only run caps.